Good morning and welcome to the, I don't know, whatever week of my curacy this is. Um, I wanted to just talk about where where I am. I, I um, had to uh, attend my father's funeral last week and um, that actually was, was quite a tough time for me. Um, I, I really struggled with that. I was close with my dad. And um, yeah, we were we were good mates. So it was a difficult a difficult week last week. The build up to it and uh, the the funeral itself on Friday. So uh, I've sort of given myself a bit of a, a gentle time over the weekend. I didn't get up to a huge amount, and I'm not going to go through the whole uh, rigmarole of what I did over the last week, which is what I normally do, and then look forward to what's going on this week. I will do the look forward because I've got something special coming up, and I'm really, really pleased about that. But what I wanted to talk about today was, uh, and I'm going really biblical, and you know, with a collar on, um, perhaps I should. But what I wanted to talk about specifically today was um, my sermon yesterday. So I preached um, at uh, Landview Church, which is just outside of Brecon, so a small, small village outside of Brecon. Um, and uh, I was I was the deacon for the priest there, so I preached um, on primarily uh, when I preach I do preach on just one maybe two of the readings I don't tend to put a lot of the readings together but I it was Luke twelve uh, forty nine to fifty six it's quite a tricky reading so uh, well, quite a tricky thing to 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 preach on so I'm actually going to read it um, if you'll be so kind and you can skip through the next couple of bits if you if you want. I've come to bring fire on the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. I have, I have a baptism to undergo and what constraint am I under until it's completed? Do you think I came to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. From now on, there will be five, five in one family divided against each other, three against two and two against three. They will do, be divided, father against son, son against father, mother against daughter, Daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He said to the crowd, When you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say it's going to rain, and it does. But when the south wind blows, you say it's going to be hot, and it is. You hypocrites! You know how, how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky, but how is it you don't know how to imp- interpret this present time? Why don't you judge for yourself what is right? As you are going to adver- into adversary to the magistrate, try hard to be reconciled on the way, or your adversary may drag you in off to the judge, and the judge turn you over to the officer, and the officer throw, throw you into prison. I tell you, you will not get out un- until you have paid the ve- uh, sorry. I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. Now, actually, that's a slightly different translation to the one that I preach on. That's NIV, and I used um, NRSV. Uh, sli- slightly different wording, but um, the the interesting thing is with that, that reading, and one of the things that it highlighted for me is the amount of division that we have um, everywhere in our lives, in our families, and... My father's funeral last week um, highlighted some of those divisions and how we cope with those. And what I preached about yesterday was, and I was very honest about those those divisions. Um, we have to, we do have divisions in our family. We have divisions over all sorts of things, and I'm not going to go into them. But one of the big ones that we have divisions over is Brexit. Um, my mum is a firm believer that we should have and and have done uh, left the EU and I'm a firm believer that we should remain not only should I believe not only should we remain um, but now I believe we should return Um, so we've got very very strong and different views and we've had to find ways of dealing with those differences and divisions and it's not easy and one of the things I preached about yesterday was actually sometimes we pray for our family divisions to be healed. And sometimes they don't get healed. Sometimes God says no, or not yet. And sometimes I believe that's because 
he's working to his plan, not our plan. So whilst it might be in our benefit to have a peaceful relationships with our family members, there may be something that God needs in that, that division. There may be something in that conflict that God needs or uses to bring about the kingdom because we are building the kingdom of God. That's our job here. So it was, a, it was a tricky it was a tricky sermon. I wasn't sure how it was going to land. Um, I did try and spatter it through with a with a couple of little um, jokes and cheap shots. Um, I didn't make any jokes about mother in laws, which would have been very easy. Um, but everybody in that church knows my mother in law, so that would have been very very difficult. So when I when I preach, I tend to keep my own family out of the sermon, um, or if I do. Uh, and I'm not, I've not preached a huge amount. I'm not that experienced. Um, but when I have included family members in my preaching, I've um, made sure that they're aware of that first and sought their permission. Um, so that's that's what I did last week. We also had um, a little barbecue and I did all the cooking as well. So that was quite good. So Time Out is um, a, a sort of a free church that I go to um, and worship at. And they have, during, during the August period, they don't meet for those four or five um, August weekends. Um, so what we did is uh, we, we didn't meet in church, but we met at someone's house, my supervisor's house, and we had a lovely barbecue. And it was some of the finest weather that we've had in the long time. We've In Britain here, uh, as many of you may know, we're suffering with the best part of a drought in many places. I'm, I mean, I'm in mid Wales, in Brecon, so we don't have a drought here, um, but it's probably not that far away um, and then every week uh, I've been doing this I've been complaining about the light because this side of my face is really bright and I have to I've got some windows over here and I have to block those out um, and I haven't had to block them out today because actually it's quite dark out there today and it's only it's quarter to nine in the morning um, and it's uh, it, we've had the first little spattering of rain we've had in, in, in over a, a couple of weeks we've had record breaking temperatures and it's been quite grinding so actually to have the temperature just drop a little bit cool off a little bit is, is quite um, quite soothing and I'm going to lean into that uh, this week. So this week, let me tell you what I've got going on. Have a look at my diary. So in a minute I've got supervision with my supervisor as I have every Monday morning. Um, then I have um, there's a, some reception for the Bishop of Ghana. Um, so that'll be an interesting one. Um, I'm still going to wear my shorts. Uh, it's summer here and I do that every week and I like to wear shorts. Um, as you may know, as you can see, I'm very, very heavily tattooed um, all over the place on my leg tattoos as well. I've actually got a SpongeBob on my leg and a Christian Cross made out of the nails. So I, I quite like to get those ones out if I can. Um, then this afternoon, I'm going to do some uh, pastoral uh, calling around. Uh, I've, got to, I've got to get that on top of that. Uh, and then I'm going to go and pick some guitars up. So one of the challenges that I've been set is to set up a worship band. So I'm going to pick up some guitars. Um, the weekend has just gone, uh, is the, was the Brecon Jazz. I've met up with my uh, wife's uncle, who is a, a drummer and a drumming teacher. Uh, and so we're going to get a set of drums and uh, he's going to teach somebody how to do that. Um, tomorrow, uh, I've got a fa fairly light day, uh, in, in all fairness. Um, I'm, I've got a meeting uh, with one of the care homes here. I've got a Eucharist. Uh, I'm a shift in at the food bank and then uh, if I can get back in time uh, I'm going to go meet one of my colleagues for coffee and if I can get back in time I'm going to do my drop-in surgery. Um, Wednesday is a fairly easy day, I'm going to use that as a study day. And then Thursday I'm meeting with a chap and we're going to be talking about the Brecon Food Festival. One of the things I did over the weekend was put together all of the events that are coming up. Um, as far as I'm aware of them, um, so that we, as a ministry area team, um, don't get caught uh, trying to plan stuff at the last minute. So actually, this gives us an opportunity to plan in advance. Uh, so I've, I've done that. And what the next big thing that's coming up is, is October. Uh, it's the Brecon Food Festival. It's on for one day. And actually, we celebrate harvest the following day. So I'm meeting with the organiser of that to see if we can kind of dovetail that together and see if there's some sort of harvest theme Brecon Food Festival theme that we can bring together. Um, and then I've got spiritual direction on that afternoon. It's been a good couple of weeks since I've had spiritual direction, so I quite enjoy doing that. It's called sort of therapy for um, 
clerics, uh, if you like. And then what's really exciting is I have a weekend off. Friday morning, I shall be heading down to Munt, uh, which is a coastal village. It's not even a village. It's, it's just a couple of a collection of houses. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi signal. Uh, it'd be brilliant. And we go camping there every year uh, with some friends of ours. So we're going this weekend and next weekend as well. I've got two weekends off in a row. Um, so, yeah, it's going to feel like a little bit of a holiday. Uh, I'm going to be taking my main holiday uh, in, in October um, just because it works better with school and, and family and things like that. And uh, yeah, so that, that's that's where I am. That's had the, the difficult week that I've had. Um, I think I'd say it's a difficult week or a busy week every week, don't I? But it, it's, it's enjoyable. Even though it's I say it's difficult or busy, it's still the best uh, thing that I've ever done. Um, and I, I joked about it the other day. Someone saw me the other day who knew me uh, from a previous life. I used to be a driving instructor and, and one or two other jobs as well. Uh, and he said to me, oh, look, how are you getting on You know, being a vicar? Uh, that's that's how he, he sees me. Uh, and I said, well, it's, it's, it's great. It feels like I was called to it, which is uh, kind of a little bit of a, a vicar joke there. Uh, uh, I do have some other vicar jokes, but they're not appropriate for this channel. But uh, maybe if you meet me in person, I'll tell you them. So that's where we are. Um, I've got some exciting times coming up. I've booked a load of things into the diary for services and events and all sorts of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to planning for the rest of the year. So take care of yourself. God bless you. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, do another another video next week.